Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to some new WWE action figure information. We're going to take a look at Top Picks. Now, Top Picks first arrived at the end of last year um, and this was a way of Mattel getting all of those bestsellers into shops for the Christmas period. Uh, seems like it worked because now they're going to release kind of like the second wave of top picks. But we're getting elites, we're getting basics, we're going to have a look at all of them, and we're also going to have a look at something a little bit special, a little bit different. Uh, let's start, shall we, with the basics. Uh, on screen right now, you can see Jeff Hardy. Uh, this looks very similar, if not identical, to the Jeff Hardy that came in Battle Pack 53. Uh, so, no face paint. Uh, I kind of get the feeling they're saving the face painted Jeff Hardys for the Elite line. Um, so, yeah, it's still cool though. People love Jeff Hardy. Uh, and so, you will be able to get that on its own as a top pick basic. Next, we've got Seth Rollins. Uh, this is the same as the SummerSlam basic we had the other year. Um, so, yeah, a little bit surprising that this is just a re-release. Uh, I think there might be a difference with the face scan on it. In fact, with a lot of these figures, we're seeing that they are based on previous figures, but they do have just slight updates, just slight differences. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, great attire, iconic attire actually, and not the last we're going to see of it in this video. Next, we've got AJ Styles. This is like a basic version of Elite 61. Um, and I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, not the best AJ Styles we're going to see in this video. Uh, but again, it's just a way of getting him onto the shelves uh, so that people have always got access to a basic AJ figure. Next, we've got John Cena. A little bit surprised that John Cena is in this top picks because uh, we don't see John that often on WWE TV. Uh, I know he's arguably the biggest star of the past 20 years, um, but it would make more sense to have, like, Roman Reigns uh, in this top picks line. I think he's still their number one merch seller, so a little bit surprised that we've not got Roman here, uh, or Daniel Bryan, or maybe even Kofi now that Kofi is the champ, or Becky Lynch. Like, has there been a bigger star than Becky Lynch in these past 12 months? So, uh, yeah, a little bit surprising, but here he is, John Cena. This looks like a basic version of Elite 64. Uh, not really a great deal to it. I think the face scan's pretty cool. I like the trainers. That's about it. Uh, let's move on to the Elites. Uh, you can see these are slightly different. We've got Braun Strowman. Uh, obviously, he wasn't in that basic line, but... This is the same as Elite 68. Now, Elite 68 is not out yet here in the UK. I don't think it's come out in America yet either. Um, but this top picks is going to be exactly the same. It's a very weird choice. Very weird. Like, you would expect them to go with, like, a previous brawn. Something that's not going to be on the shelves. Um, but, yeah, it looks like this is going to be coming out around the same time as that Elite 68. Um, I mean, it's a great figure, don't get me wrong, and you get some great accessories with it. Uh, I mean, that double base is one of the best accessories we've ever seen. Uh, and the Money in the Bank briefcase as well. So, I suppose in that regard, it does make sense, but just weird timing. Next, you got Seth Rollins. I told you it wouldn't be the last we would see of that Tron attire. Uh, this is the same as Elite 52, but again, they've updated the face. Um, this has obviously got the TrueFX face scan, the changeable hands, and comes with a Monday Night Roland shirt, which is really cool. Um, that was one of the biggest shirts of last year. Next, we got Finn Balor. Uh, this is a great figure. Now, I think this is an original figure. I don't remember seeing Balor in grey before on any figure. Uh, so, this could be... Uh, like a bit of a, an exclusive to the top picks line. Uh, and I really like it. I really rate it. I think it looks brilliant. I like the face on it. I think the grey is different. Uh, I love that jacket. I've always been a fan of that jacket. 
Obviously, it comes with the changeable hands as well. Uh, that's It's really interesting. I really do like that Finn Balor figure. That brings us to the final elite figure, AJ Styles. AJ Styles, look at this. This was his ring attire just before WrestleMania. Uh, since WrestleMania, he's been wearing like black and gold. But just before WrestleMania, he was wearing like black and this kind of fluorescent yellow. Um, I think it looks awesome. It comes with the WWE Championship. Uh, obviously, the changeable hands. It's got the logo on the gloves. I love the face scan. For me, out of all of the figures that we've looked at so far, this is the best. So, they are on the way to stores. Uh, they will be hanging around a little while uh, so that people have got access to all of those big superstars, I'm guessing, over the summer. Um, but that brings us to uh, the slightly different item I was talking about. Uh, and here is the image. WWE Hero Clicks. Now, I don't know anything about Hero Clicks. This is the first time I'm even hearing of Hero Clicks. But apparently, this is a very popular game. It's like a board game. It's got dice. Uh, you can get Avengers characters, you can get Justice League, um, they do loads of different brands. Well now the WWE brand has joined up with Hero Clicks, and so you will be able to get these figures and use them in the game. You can see an image on screen, we've got Stone Cold, the Macho Man, Finn Balor, John Cena, Ronda Rousey. Uh, they also mention in their brief uh, Trish. Trish Stratus, uh, which is a hell of a legend. That's brilliant. Uh, the Undertaker, Roman Reigns. Um, these are going to be available worldwide uh, at the end of this year. So apparently this is like a board game. You build a team, uh, your friend builds a team, and then you battle it out. It's a little bit like Top Trumps, but it's on a board game, and you've got the figures, and there's a collectible aspect to it. Um, I really need to look into it more, uh, but they do certainly look interesting. And that was everything for this video, guys. We just wanted to take a look at those top picks and show you that Hero Clicks stuff as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.